happy Thursday. I have an awesome recipe that's going to be kind of shocking to y'all. Surprisingly um, hearty and savory. So here we go. It's going to be, we'll call it savory butternut squash soup. And I was using a spaghetti squash the other day, and someone said, well, I didn't even know you, are you steaming that? Can you eat it raw? You can. It's great spiralized. It's great um, with the angel hair spiralizer, so the pieces are really small. It's really sweet and flavorful. So what you're going to do with the butternut squash is I bought one that was just a medium size. Some of these become, I mean, they're long. This one was about this big, and I used a half to three-fourths. So here's what you're going to do first. You're going to take your butternut squash. You're going to cut off the top so you cut the stem off. Then you're going to cut it in half. It's going to fold open. Down in the bottom of the round part, there's going to be seeds. Just scoop those out. I left the pulp and stuff. Just scoop your seeds. It's probably not going to hurt if there's a seed or two left. But and Then you're going to need uh, one orange, peeled of course, one large red pepper, cut off the stem but leave the seeds and the white inside. There's a lot of nutrition in that. You're going to need um, allspice, about half of a teaspoon of allspice. You're going to need one teaspoon of Fiesta Lime Mrs. Dash. That, that flavor is the key to this recipe. It balances out with like a sweet and sort of spicy savory but it's not too spicy if you're not a person that likes a super heat okay you're going to have five long green onions um, i even left the whites and the little roots on there it's it gives it good taste it's a little kick in there um and i used one cup of water so here's what you're going to do you put your water in there first with your orange blend that up then you're going to add in slowly your, your pieces of butternut squash. Cube them up. You don't have to peel it. Some people say peel it, but I just washed it good. And um, mine was organ happened to be organic, I got. So um, you can peel it if you want to. You can't really tell either way once the recipe gets made. You're going to put that in there. Start to blend it. You know, as it gets going, add the rest so it's not just going to overkill on your, your blender. Then you're going to add in your red pepper, maybe fourth it up and put it in there. Okay, as it all blends, add in your green peppers. Um, as it gets all blended, take your top off, add in your half teaspoon of allspice and your one teaspoon of Fiesta Lime Mrs. Dash. Let me make sure that's everything. Now, depending on how big your butternut squash is, you know, because I'm saying, well, it's about this big, or you have to just kind of judge. I mean, I want to say it might have been four cups. I didn't really measure, and I should have. I'm sorry, but you're going to just want to get it to a creamy texture. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hold on just a sec. I, I blended this for about maybe three minutes. As you see, I don't know if you can see, but there's steam coming off there, and let me show you what it looks like already tasted this and you can you know adjust your all I don't really think more allspice that stuff's really strong but it gives it a savory feel so still still that amount of allspice but maybe you could adjust to your your taste preferences on your Mrs. Dash so I'm gonna put that in my bowl so you can see really creamy okay now look I'm gonna have to eat all that because I poured it and then here's what I'm gonna do I want to show you this this is a California avocado. Here it is by my face. It's really large. These are very water rich. They have one third the fat. And as you see, I haven't even used a third. I just use like a little shimmy off the side. And if you're on um, zero fats, then don't add it. It doesn't need it, but I just thought it would give it an interesting texture. So I'm going to put that right on the top so you can see. Then you can sprinkle on a little more of the, the Fiesta Lime if you want. It wouldn't be bad if you had an actual lime too to squeeze on there at the end. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to show you what it tastes like. See? Let me see if I can talk about the taste. I'm not real good at that. Everything's like, oh, that's so good. Oh, my God. You know? This is one of my best soups. You need to try this. This makes an enormous amount because... I took the rest of my butternut squash and I just put it in my green box. If, if you don't have these things, they're called Joyce Meyer green boxes. You can get them on QVC. I think they sell them on HSN, probably Amazon. 
They're like Tupperware balls. She also has the bags, but I find they're tedious because once you use them, you can rinse them out, but then you have to, you know, let them dry and set them up somewhere. It's kind of a hassle, but the boxes, I've had this particular set of green boxes for probably six years. You can dishwash them and everything. What happens is, as produce ripens, it gives off this certain gas that actually rots it. Well, these boxes let the gas escape but it keeps the fret it keeps nothing else coming in there so your produce you could have a pint of strawberries you you bought fresh from the strawberry farm out here and within two days even if you just kept them in their container if you put them in the refrigerator on the counter they would start to grow mold and things but they will last two weeks in those boxes those are the key to success on raw too because you can buy things in bulk i can buy spinach in a six pound bag and it lasts me I might have it three weeks, you know, so that's a big deal. But um, I was going to tell you something. I got sidetracked. But anyway, there's your soup. And oh, here's what I was going to tell you. People think, like my mom says, I don't have time to buy all that produce. I don't have time to run by the store every day. I don't go every day. I buy things in bulk, and then I use what I have. But today I did run. I got all this stuff at Walmart today, and I had to go to the grocery. Y'all saw my pantry was empty yesterday. And after I got out of school, I had returned something at Walmart, gone into Kato's, the little clothes store there, got all these groceries, got my boy at the high school, came home, thought of this recipe, wrote it down, made it, and now I'm showing you I'm making a YouTube video in, oh, 35 minutes. Raw doesn't take long. Y'all try this recipe. You'll love it. Thank you for watching. Bye.